Now, when you misplace something, like I said, usually you wonder first if someone came into your house as well to take it. That's not strange, idiot. That's normal. But what is strange is if, like, for instance, I'm looking for a money order or something and I had it in a certain location and it's not there anymore, that usually means someone stole it. Right? A thief. And a robber. Like those who attacked the man in the parable. Traveling to Jerusalem. That's all you are to God. You're nothing but thieves and robbers stealing from a disabled person. If you do that. <laughs> Don't you know that? <laughs> Don't matter who the thief or the robber is, whether it's a male thief or a female thief too. Right. Or a hermaphrodite thief, Mark. Miley, what is going on there? I know when someone's trying to beguile me, I know. And don't really want to be with me, I know. You're not really with me, I know. You're against me, I know. That's what I mean, right? If you're coming over to my house to fuck me, and I don't even know you did it, it's not for me, it's for you. <laughs> So it is. Right. This means God has a purpose for your life. If you're a child and you're doing that to me, you know you're not supposed to do that either. either. <laughs> that's why. That's why. <laughs> and you know I watch TV. You know I know the Word of God. <laughs> you're the one who won't learn the truth. <laughs> and you're blaming others. You blame people on TV. God has the final well, what can they show you? you? <laughs> Certain things in the Bible. Well, they damn sure not showing you everything. You probably never even heard of what I read you yesterday. No, you haven't. I know you haven't. I haven't either. Until I read it for myself. <laughs> Fool. And yes, it sounds crazy to do that to anyone. But is that why the Salem witch trials really happened? <laughs> no, right. Because crazy things in the Bible people read and don't realize certain things will kill somebody. I know. Dumping a person in the water and if they get out of it somehow, <laughs> will kill anyone. Idiot. Murderers. Fornicators. Unrepentant at that. Even if you're with the wrong woman and love her, she's still the wrong woman. <laughs> Even if you're a couple who are wrong, <laughs> you don't get that still. <laughs> if you're not right for each other, you'll never be right for each other. To begin with, you can't force a thing that ain't supposed to be to be either. Either. Sometimes it's better to divorce than be with the wrong person too. Right. Oh, but Christ didn't tell you that. You mean Matthew, Mark, and Luke didn't tell you that. That Christ might have also said. Right. Two. <laughs> They're trying to lie to you. Because <laughs> they couldn't handle the whole truth of Christ. Themselves. Even those following didn't understand. And Satan darkened their mind. That's what he thinks his job is. To confuse you. To trick us all. And trust me, he's doing it still. I know he is. The worst devil to deal with is one you don't even believe in but acting like. <laughs> anyway, anyway. And if you can't tell how you're acting like it, coming to my channel every day when I'm telling you the truth is acting like it, by the way. <laughs> Not to stop you, because without you, I wouldn't even have this, I guess. Or what, are you worried it would have become more popular? I know you are. Your lie is showing, Navy. Your lie is showing, Captain Carey. Your lie is showing, Ben and King on the ship. Campbell. <laughs> Carlos, or whatever your damn name was. I don't know you. I don't know you before I got to the ship, and I don't know you after the ship. 
But like I said, the only girls I'm around are Myron's older sister. <laughs> what is she sneaking into the living room while I'm sleeping on the couch and fucking me? I don't know. <laughs> right? <laughs> but if she did, she's the cougar and I'm the younger boyfriend. <laughs> And I bet the parents are, you know, making her want to fight me, even if she didn't, even if she didn't. You know how that works, they tell her not to even touch me, <laughs> but she don't care. <laughs> she does, I like her. <laughs> she ain't dumb, she ain't dumb. She's got a lot of offers, no, <laughs> no. And then to see that, well, now I've got my own business. But she thinks I'm cute, I bet. <laughs> and see if the penis fits. <laughs> Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. became pregnant with a son. She was white. The father was black. Her parents told her, you can't have this baby. It's a mistake. It's never going to amount to anything. You're not only going to ruin your life, you're going to ruin your child's life. They gave her an ultimatum. Either abort the baby or move out of the house. She wanted to have her child. So she left home alone, headed for California. No money, no future to speak of. A single luxury. Like, <laughs> One day at 17 years old. As primitive as can be. A lady came up and handed her a Bible. And talked to her about having peace with God. Right there, she gave Well, God's no respecter of persons Bible, or outer appearance. Never has been. The only thing they describe of Jesus is of note is that he's got bass toys or female breasts. Uh oh. Someone lied to you about his real form. Yes, he. Especially if it's in the book of Revelations written by the same John and then, on Patmos, right? Who wrote the gospel and his three letters to the church, right? And you're still not listening. I come from the wrong side of the neighborhood. There's dysfunction in my family. That's how you start. Because obviously I'm missing something I had over the weekend, right? But ain't been nowhere. I know. Been home mainly, right? And if I go out, it's briefly. And if someone took something from the house, they took it when I was out. And if it's not filled out because I'm waiting for the bill to come in, right? They can cash it still. But like I said, we're still looking for something, right? When you're looking for something you thought you had, say, on your ottoman, right? It can't be that far from the ottoman or someone stole it from your damn house, idiot! That's what a thief does, thief. The thief steals, lies, and kills Satan's little bitch. And as long as you're following him, you're Satan's little bitch. It don't matter if you steal a gold coin from ten. The person who had the ten coins knows one's missing. <laughs> and if you take a hundred sheep and take one... The shepherd knows you're trying to take the sheep. He's trying to protect. And that the sheep that are still together are safer in the group than the one that went astray. Right. But are you making him go astray? Are the other sheep picking on him, biting at him? Right. Kicking him out the sheepfold. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to do that either. Pastor Thomas acted like he's the king of the church and I can't go out there with him because I'm a prophet. I know they're wrong. They want to jerk off with each other like that's normal for male behavior. But lie about it too. That's called doing something in the closet, fool. Most gay people do that, too. <laughs> but you're not gay. Pastor Davis assures you that's not gay. Okay. 
Sure it is. Sure it is. <laughs> it's one step closer <laughs> to being with a male sexually than if you don't do nothing at all <laughs> and please yourself like a normal person does. <laughs> Hell, you're even better to hump your bed <laughs> or jerk off in your bathroom <laughs> Then to do it with another man if you're not trying to present a gay audience <laughs> and telling people not to be gay anyway. I don't know. Right? <laughs> Shun the very appearance of evil anyway. You're still getting it up with another male touching you. <laughs> That's gay. It's a doorway into it. If you don't understand that, Christian Fellowship Church, started by Lloyd Ray Davis. <laughs> God, I, trust you. I know gay Ray. I know that gay Ray. <laughs> His name is Lloyd. He some unusual twists and turns. And he beguiled you. He brainwashed you. He taught you his false doctrine. <laughs> there he is. Like all fake churches do. And guess what, churches? You don't know it, but your fake is a three dollar bill. Nothing like having an encouraging spouse. But the prophets aren't here because you're doing right. They're here because you won't hear the wrong you're doing from the Lord. They hear it. <laughs> See, it's like the king who was looking for a word from the Lord. He got what he wanted to hear, but he kept pressing the issue. Right? In other words, he knew he was doing something wrong. So then the final prophet said something negative. Right. But was probably just being sarcastic with him and telling him what he wanted to hear. <laughs> but what that prophet said is what really came true, right? Right. I know. Why do you think that is? The queen king was questioning himself the whole time, right? He knew something was off with it. But when he heard what he was supposed to hear and knew it was the truth, he did what he wanted to do anyway. That's the problem with you men. God can only tell you through a prophet so many times you're wrong during that prophet's life anyway. But fire comes out of my mouth and devours my enemy because you cannot kill me. But you can die quicker than me. Bye.